Gamesabout families are pretty uncommon. Ignoring the state of games about deaths, because they are about deaths, not families, which is sort of accidentally on point. Can you even name the parents of more than a couple of game characters? There are probably more about orphans than about someone who even in passing has parents. Children of Morda is all about the family. It's a slash light Diablo-ish game without the loot, which has undergone years of crowdfunded development by Dead Mage. The project is looking to tackle real-world problems in a fantastical setting. Set in a mystical land, children of Mordad's hunters around the Bergsons and their quest to fight corruption and restore peace to their homeland. The story, despite falling into common tropes seen in fantasy tales surrounding them, is an engaging one. The Bergsons are the beating heart of Children of Morda in nearly every aspect. Although the story is about an ancient evil taking over sacred lands, they are driving force from start to finish. The true narrative is that of the constantly unraveling lore of the Bergsons. As you progress, you learn more about the rich history of this bloodline and find yourself intertwined in their affairs. Practically, every moment of the story that's focused on Bergsons and their relationships is utter joy. The interactions between the family are heartwarming, funny and sad at times. They will do anything for one another, and they have no compunction about heading into danger to protect their kin. Even if you don't play co-op, you'll occasionally have a Bergson turn up to help in some way, and it makes all the sense in the world. Why wouldn't you bring out more than one of your elite warriors when you're fighting a world-ending cataclysm? All of the dungeons, forests and temples you'll explore in Children of Morda are procedurally generated. Despite the obvious concerns, they still have a sense of consistency and cohesiveness to them. There is a good distribution of loot, enemies, puzzles and alternate pathways. Children of Morda is designed using hand-painted pixel art and frame-by-frame -frame animations. The work here is beautifully done and makes for some gorgeous visuals. This is especially evident with the characters themselves. Even with a 2D art style, Dead Mage manages to give each member of the Bergsons their own clear-cut design that makes them stand out and easily distinguishable from the others. The choice to go frame by frame with animations also makes the world feel more alive. It's the little details such as Linda's hair bouncing side to side as she sprints and flips through a cave, or the leaves rustling in a tree that give children of Morda a refreshing sense of life. The sound design is another key feature that makes this action RPG feel so lively. Sounds like John's sword slicing through the air when you miss an enemy, or the soft sounds of boots stepping through dirt are the prime examples of the attention to detail with all of the environmental sound effects. And the music, oh goodness, the music. I can only describe it as Diablo-esque with a hint of an Arabian flair. It's like taking your favorite dish adding some spices, and coming up with something altogether new and interesting. The variety amongst the different members of the Bergson clan are spotlighted in the gameplay, which is the most substantial part of Children of Morda. This big family doubles as a diverse roster of heroes with different playstyles to bring to the table. The core roguelike structure of go in the dungeon, get as far as possible, die and come back stronger is the foundation of the experience, and each aspect of it is phenomenal. Exploring dungeons is an engaging and challenging experience thanks to the randomly generated layouts and variety enemy types. And each of the Bergsons offer a unique playstyle, ensuring you'll have a character you enjoy playing no matter what style you prefer. One, for example, goes into battle with sword and shield. Another opts for quick dual daggers instead, and a third methodically snipes foes with her bow. Each playable character also has a unique skill tree to progress through, further allowing you to customize your build. With the gold you collect during your travels, you can upgrade universal stats shared between all of the characters too, including health, attack damage, critical hit chance, and the like. 
These help ensure that you won't be too weak if you try to take a new character you haven't tried into a late game dungeon. RPGs, particularly this kind of exclusively fighting crowd heavy RPG, do benefit from a tangible feeling of becoming more powerful. And all this does get you playing as less favored characters, which makes Children of Morda stand out. Children of Morda is one of those rare games that can provide something for players new to the genre and grizzled ARPG veterans alike. It's easy enough to pick up, and despite being brutally challenging if you don't make the best out of every advantage, it is never unfair. You always have a fighting chance. Children of Morda is a gorgeous and joyful experience, whether you choose to go alone or with a friend. When you think family, you realize how it shapes you. How it shapes us all. And how little we tend to care about them.